Ready, go! Breaking news. Welcome to welcome to today's headlines. What I told Sunday Ibo about your about nation agitator, Shore. What I told Sunday Ibo about your about nation agitator, Shore. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Omoyele Shoure, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, has said he told Yoruba Nation separatist leader, Sunday a day more popularly known as Igboho, to be extremely careful when he was briefed about their determination against the Nigerian government. Shoure, who stated this during a recent interview with Alaro TV, monitored by Politics Nigeria, also said Yoruba Nation agitators, counterpart Biafrant, are 75% out of Nigeria. He, Ibo, is in the position I was in 2019. I was detained in the DSS custody in Abuja. Chief Sunday Ibo started his agitation when I left DSS custody. I told him that these people you are fighting are deadly. If you don't have adequate capability, don't confront them. It was the same I was telling Biafran agitators, but they are already out of Nigeria by 75%. Yoruba Nation agitators have not reached. That level, Shoure said. The Department of State Services, DSS had stormed Ibo's residence in Ibadan, Oyo State, on 1st July 2021, over his agitation for the creation of Yoruba Nation. Certain suspects, including a female and 12 males, we are arrested. His vehicles, including his G wagon, Prado Jeep, and some valuable properties, including furniture and windows, were also reportedly destroyed. Two of Ibo's associates were killed during the DSS invasion. Presently, Ibo is in the Republic of Benin. Omoye Leshoure, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, has said he told Yoruba Nation separatist leader, Sunday at the more popularly known as Igboho, to be extremely careful when he was briefed about their determination against the Nigerian government. Shoure, who stated this during a recent interview, with Alaro TV monitored by Politics Nigeria. Also said Yoruba Nation agitators counterpart, Biafrant, as 75% out of Nigeria. E. Igboho is in the position I was in 2019. I was detained in the DSS custody in Abuja. Chief Sunday Ibo started his agitation when I left DSS custody. I told him that these people you are fighting are deadly. If you don't have adequate capability, don't confront them. It was the same I was telling Biafra agitators. But you are already out of Nigeria by 
Yoruba nation agitators have not reached that level, she will reset. The Department of State Services, DSS had stormed Igbo's residence. In Ibadan, all your states on July 2021, over his agitation for the creation of Yoruba nation. 13 suspects, including a female and 12 males, were arrested. His vehicles, including his G Wagon, Prado Jeep, and some valuable properties, including furniture and windows, were also reportedly destroyed. Two of Igbo's associates were killed during the DSS invasion. Presently, Igbo is in the Republic of Benin. The presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, has said he told Yoruba Nation separatist leader, Sunday Yadiye, more popularly known as Igboho, to be, sorry, to be extremely careful when he was briefed about their determination against the Nigerian government. Shewere, who stated this during a recent interview with Alaroye TV, monitored by Politics Nigeria, also said Yoruba Nation agitator's counterpart, Biafran, as 75% out of Nigeria. E. Ibewo is in the position I was in 2019. I was detained in the DSS custody in Abuja. Chief Sunday Ibewo started his agitation when I left DSS custody. I told him that these people you are fighting are deadly. If you don't have adequate capability, don't confront them. It was the same I was telling Biafra agitators, but they are but they are already out of Nigeria by 75%. Yoruba nation agitators have not reached that level, Shobere said. The Department of State Services DSS had stormed Igbo's residence in Ibadan, your state, on, on 1st July 2021, over his agitation for the creation of Yoruba Nation. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section.